All right, so I'm here with infamous GM1. Um, you can't see him, but you know he's there. Oh, I'm here. Yep. Um, we're going to play Berserk, which is based on the arcade game. I guess that's what Evil Otto is supposed to look like. Uh, so, all right, cool. <laughs> Let me uh, minimize that, see if that helps. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a classic arcade game by Stern that um, was one of the first few that had digitized voices in the arcade. Look at those excellent game pieces. Oh yeah, the game pieces are pretty awesome. In fact, uh, the game pieces are kind of uh, well, of, of course they're integral, but uh, more than you realize, and I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. So there's Evil Auto. There's some of the um, robots. There's some markers, I guess, for something. And a uh, pair of six-sided dice. Dice. Our dice-based games are really great for this sort of thing because we don't need to, you know, there's no way I'm going to be able to, you know, fudge rolling the dice wrong or something. Is it weird that this almost looks like a game that you streamed? A little bit, because like, I haven't streamed like any Rogers. board games. It looks like that Buck Rogers video game you were playing that one time. Oh, you know what? It kind of does have that look, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, this even kind of looks like Buck Rogers, doesn't it? Yeah, that was the first thing that triggered me in the walls. <laughs> so the great part here is you actually have a two, part, two parts to the back. And then it uh, clips in. So he's actually got gun hands. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, that didn't go in the... Come on, it's got to go right in there. There we go. Yep. So he actually <laughs> has some dimensionality to him. It's kind of hilarious. I was say, careful, she's vintage. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. No, this uh, this game came out. I want to say within a year of the arcade game. They were really on top of these things back then. Okay, so how to set up the game. Apply the humanoid labels. Apply the labels. Okay, that's all assembled for us, fortunately. So we're good there. Um, place the humanoid pawn on the space marked humanoid. Um, I think it's on the bottom there. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Place evil auto on the space marked evil auto. That would be him. Okay, and then the six robot pawns on the six spaces marked with a yellow star inside a black circle. One, two, three. You know what? I'm going to lay these down. Just so it flows a little bit better on the camera. Yeah. Makes <laughs> there we go. All right. Both players take three chips. Uh, there are only four, so we'll just have to pretend. Um, unless there, unless some of them like slid in there somewhere. Let me check the box again here. Check the manual too. Might have slid in the page or something. Yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, that attic fresh smell. Unless you got tiddlywink somewhere. <laughs> I do not. I probably do have something I could u easily use as uh Oh, wait, I do. Hold on. I've been keeping all these bottle caps. They'll come in handy. There we go. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I've got nearly two full cups of bottle caps from uh, from all the sodas I've drunk on my live streams. Okay, so both... Mosaic. What's that? 
pretty soon you make them make a mosaic. I've debated whether I should do that or not. Okay. Both players take three chips. Please note, when you are the humanoid player, your humanoid pawn has a total of only three, quote-unquote, lives for the entire game. Each chip you take, each chip you have stands for one of these lives. Have a pencil and paper handy to keep score. Uh, well, I've got a notepad. We'll just use that. Okay, basic rules. You and your opponent take turns being either the humanoid player or uh, who controls the humanoid pawn or the evil auto player who controls evil auto and the robot pawns. When you're the humanoid player, try to zap your opponent's robots to score points and then escape from a maze. Where's the escape point? I don't see an escape point. Maybe it's these parts here, or maybe it's that in the middle. I'm sure we'll find out. Yeah. Um, the game is played in a series of rounds. In each round, you are the humanoid player once and the evil auto, auto player once. When you're the humanoid player, your humanoid only has three lives throughout the entire game. Each time your humanoid is zapped, you lose a chip, and your humanoid loses one life. If your humanoid is zapped three times, it's destroyed. When your humanoid is destroyed, you cannot be the humanoid player again for the rest of the game, and your chance to score points is over. Remember, the only way to score points is to zap enemy robots when you are the humanoid player. Oh, well, it's, uh... well, he can stand up. You can kind of see him, and he's got the gun arms to help him stand out a little bit. Um, how to play the game. Both players roll a die. Whoever rolls the highest number on the die is the humanoid player first on one. The other player is the evil auto player. Position the game board so the humanoid pawn is in front of the humanoid player. Well, that's not going to matter tonight. The humanoid player moves first, followed by the evil auto player. When the humanoid zaps two of your robots, you must start moving evil auto on every turn. Just roll the die and move, evil auto and two bots or more. Splitting the die roll between them in any combination. Okay. You must move evil auto first, then the robots. Please note, if you roll a one on the die, you must e roll, roll evil auto one space. If you roll two, you must move evil auto one space and then one robot one space. Well, that kind of makes sense from what they've already told us. Evil Auto can move forward, backward, sideways, and diagonally. See, it's, oh. it's in all caps there. Um, Evil Auto can move in a straight line only, cannot change directions during a turn. Um, he, he cannot change direction and bounce off the edge of the maze on the same turn either. Uh, robot can move forward, backward, and sideways but never diagonally. The robot can move in a straight line or change direction by turning left or right, but never diagonally. Examples of legal moves are the same as shown in figure four for the humanoid, so we'll, we'll see that in a moment. Um, oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, I skipped some stuff. Oops. The way this... <laughs> I, I started reading the next page, but there's actually two pages in here. I was like, uh, wow, they really got right into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll we'll go back to the other stuff in a moment here. Um, how to attack and zap the humanoid with evil auto. Evil auto can zap the humanoid pawn by landing on the same space it's occupying from any direction, including diagonally. It does not have to be by exact count. Uh, when... Evil auto zaps the humanoid pawn, immediately return the humanoid to the space marked humanoid, and the humanoid player loses a chip. Wow, so you can't be in line of sight from evil auto at all. Well, um, it sounds like you can, you just, you can't be, like, if, I guess somebody rolls and it's enough for him to land on the same spot, that's fine, but... Like if I say you're like four spaces away or something and I roll like a two, I still can't touch you if you're humanoid and I'm auto. Yeah. That's what it, that's what I got from what you read, but 
but maybe you're seeing something different. Yeah, no, that that's yeah. So you have to oh, you have to land on the same space. Never mind, it's not just line of sight. But you'd have to be in line line of sight to be able to move onto that space. So, um, I'm sure second... those walls uh, come into play too. Like you can't oh, move yeah. the wall. Uh, how to attack and zap the humanoid with a robot. A robot can zap the humanoid pawn by landing on the same space it's occupying from any direction except diagonally. It does not have to be by exact count. Um, okay. So basically the same thing. The robots are trying, it's it's not a uh, shoot thing. The robots and Evil Auto actually have to touch the humanoid to zap him. And the humanoid's objective is to get to that lightning bolt in the center? Well, that's what we're going to find out next. Uh, uh, well, it should have been what we found out first, but I <laughs> skipped a couple of pages. Fair enough. Okay. Um, okay. How to play when you are the humanoid robot. Okay. Also, uh, no pawn can move to or land on the same space more than once on the same turn. You can't retrace your steps. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't jump over another pawn, and two pawns cannot occupy the same space. By okay. pawns, I'm meaning, I'm guessing they mean bots. Yeah. Okay. On the humanoid player's turn, you roll the white die and move your humanoid pawn a number of spaces. Shown on the die roll. Re reminder you want to zap opponent's robot, then escape from the maze. Uh, we'll find out about escaping from the maze uh, later on. How to move. The humanoid can move forward, backwards, and sideways, but never diagonally. Um, but you can change directions during, or the humanoid can change directions during the turn. So you can backtrack. Yeah, so you can kind of zigzag around. Uh, if you roll a six, for example, you can move two forward, one left, two forward, that kind of thing. Yep. Um, to destroy a robot, you must move your humanoid onto an adjacent space, either in front, behind, or to the side of the robot, so no diagonals. Um, but please note the humanoid pawn does not land on the same space as the robot to zap it. So the robots land have to land on the same spot as the humanoid, but the humanoid just needs to be adjacent to a, a robot to zap it. Gotcha. Uh, the humanoid does not have to land on a space next to a robot by exact count. You can zap a robot in passing. So like you could, if if we had a robot here, you could go one, two, three, zap and keep moving. Yeah. The humanoid can zap more than one robot on the same turn or from the same space. Okay. So if the bots have you sort of penned in, you can zap both of them at the same time. The humanoid cannot zap a robot through a wall. The humanoid can never zap the indestructible, and that's in all caps again, evil auto. Hmm. Which... Follows the game. You cannot kill Evil Auto. When he shows up, you just have to run. <laughs> uh, when he, your humanoid zaps a robot, remove the robot from the maze and set it aside. Uh, okay. So these tokens are just basically life my count. turn when I'm humo humanoid, your turn when you're humanoid. Yeah, life count. Right. Okay. All right, back to where we were, the maze. Um, there are 10 walls in the maze. The humanoid and the robots cannot move through or jump over a wall. Evil Otto can move through walls. Ooh. Which, again, like the game. You, you, you'll need to give this a try next time you're at the Garcade. Um, All right. They do have it there. Uh, very basic, but pretty fun. Hmm. Um. The humanoid space is a safe space for the humanoid throughout the entire game. The humanoid cannot be zapped by evil auto or a robot when occupying this space. 
evil auto or a robot cannot even land on this square. So, I mean, <laughs> but if I've got you kind of hemmed in, well, you, you can zap them all, but yeah. So you're safe there, which is not like the arcade game. Right. There's no safe place in the arcade game. Um, okay, the barrier square is the purple space in the exact center of the maze. No pawn is allowed to land on or jump over this space. That's probably there to keep Evil Otto from just zooming in and killing you instantly. Okay, so Otto can't go through that. Right. That's the only thing he can't go through. It's the only thing he can't pass through. Okay. The Evil Otto space is also the exit space for the humanoid to escape from the maze. Oh, you have to get there. If you're the uh, if you're the humanoid, get where? You have to get to the evil auto space. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But you have to move auto anyway, like no matter. You, you have to yeah. Sure. So that's probably why you're required to move auto first on any dice roll. They they did a really interesting job of balancing this stuff. I'm I'm like, uh, I don't know if you saw the um, the one that I did on uh oh what's it called um turbo but that was really fun and you wouldn't expect a racing game to translate very well to a board game no not at all um okay evil auto or a robot cannot land on the evil auto space after evil auto moves off of it so no makes, gold tending makes doesn't mean i can't surround it <laughs> well, yeah. Um, any pawn can yeah. land on any of the six robot spaces. The striped spaces, I don't know if that comes across on the camera very well, but... Um, oh, okay. Every uh, square in this line has kind of got yeah. hash marks on it. I can see it. Okay. Um, the striped spaces form a dividing line across the center of the maze. It divides the maze into two parts. The humanoid... So humanoid side and the evil auto side. Later in the game, the movement of the humanoid may be limited to only one side of the maze. See rule 8 on page 9 for further details. Okay. We'll get there. We're almost there. We're on rule 7. Of? What? Of uh, 13. Okay. Um, when your humanoid has zapped at least four robots, you have the option of either escaping from the maze or trying to exact the remaining robots to earn bonus points. To escape from the maze, just move your humanoid to the space marked Evil Auto, like it's so simple, and you're out. You don't have to land on it by exact count. Ooh, okay. So if you're three spaces away and you roll a five, you're still good. Mm hmm when your humanoid has zapped five robots, you cannot cross from the evil auto side to the humanoid side of the maze. If your humanoid is on the humanoid side, you can cross over to the evil auto side, but you cannot cross back. Okay. So, so basically, you... you lose access to your safe place. Gotcha. After, uh, after you've taken out five of the six uh, bots. No backsies. Right. Um, which makes sense. It's kind of limiting you to a smaller place. It's it's like uh, you know when you're playing PUBG or or Fortnite for, for you kids out there. It's it's simulating people being killed off, so it's constricting the battle space so that there's more chance for conflict. That's <laughs> right. Berserk did it 40 years ago. <laughs> and probably. Uh, you know, that's actually one of the games that I, I'm, I'm kind of interested in grabbing at some point. They made a version of Monopoly based on Fortnite, hmm. which, I mean, most of, most of the Monopoly versions are just reskins, but they actually incorporated somehow that, that mist that contracts. Hmm. And I'm really interested to see how they did that. So I got to find that at some point. I'm only interested in the Zelda Monopoly. <laughs> uh, well, there's actually a regular Zelda board game out there. And I, I've seen it. 
at one of the places I go to in Madison, but he won't sell it to me. <laughs> I've asked a number of times. <laughs> so you're there for show, huh? Yes. Um, okay, let's see here. When your humanoid escapes from a maze or is zapped three times and destroyed, your turn at being the humanoid player and controlling the humanoid is over. Now your opponent has the chance to t control the humanoid and zap robots to score points. Turn the game board around and place all of your pawns back on their starting point places. Your opponent becomes the humanoid and you become Evil Otto and the robot players. Okay, so you basically get three rounds. I, I read ahead, so I know this much of it. Um, so whoever gets to be the humanoid first kind of gets a little bit of an advantage because you get more, you know, you get two chances to zap robots as opposed to only one for the person who starts as Evil Auto. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so you zap as many as you can. And once your lives are are taken out, then you switch sides. Okay. When you're the humanoid player, you receive 10 points for each robot your humanoid zaps. If the humanoid zaps all six robots at, in one round, you automatically receive an additional 60 bonus points for a total of 120. So 10 points per robot. Right. So that's, I guess, the equalizer there is player or the, uh, the player who gets round two needs to like really try to zap all of the robots. <laughs> okay. The first, the first round is completed when both players have been the humanoid player once. Oh, each round is a cycle. Okay. So what that sounds like to me then is those chips are your life points, not not like yep. not amount of lives. Well, um, they're they're supposed to be lives because it's an arcade game. Okay, fair enough. When your lives run out, then you switch. When player two's lives run out, then you switch back, and uh, that's that's round one. Mm -hmm. And there are three rounds. So ultimately, we're going to be playing six rounds of this. Okay. I'm still um, to see the advantage for player one, but I'm sure well, now, we now that I know that one round is two, uh, two sets of plays, there isn't an advantage. Okay. I thought it was just one round of plays and whoever started, you know, if you start as the humanoid round two is you starting as evil auto where you can't earn points, but round three is you starting again as humanoid where you can earn points. I was wrong. Round one, you start as humanoid, you earn points, you die. Then you're uh, evil auto trying to prevent the other person from getting points. And when uh, that uh, phase is done, that's the end of round one. Gotcha. Um, second round, follow the same rules. But with one exception in the basic turn of Evil Auto and the Robots player, uh, the basic turn of the Evil Auto. Um, hold on, let's see here. I'm I'm just trying to uh, remind myself here of. Okay. Trying to figure out what the difference is really quick here. No, you're fine. Um. Well, I'll just read it out loud here. Uh, you and your opponent play a second round, follow the rules for the first round, but with one exception in the basic turn of Evil Auto and the Robots player. Uh, here's the basic turn of the Evil Auto player in the second round. On One on your turn, roll the red die and move two robots or more, splitting the die roll between them in any combination. 
You cannot move evil auto until the humanoid has zapped two of your robots. When the humanoid zaps two of your robots, you must start moving evil, evil auto on every turn. Just roll the die and move evil auto in one ro robot or more, splitting the die roll between them in any combination. You must move evil auto first. In the second round, the evil auto player becomes more powerful than before because there are less limitation on the movement of evil auto robots. Even after two robots have been zapped, only two pieces have to be moved per turn. This makes it more difficult for the humanoid player to zap robots and survive. Okay, so what was the movement on the first one then? Well, the first one you said he can only, uh, he has to move first and um, he can move pretty much any direction, but he can't backtrack. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Well, that's the same. Um, Let's see here. I mean, on the last one, it makes a little bit more sense because you, you uh, on on the third round, it says that you can move evil auto or a robot. You don't have move evil auto until you until a humanoid. Until the human no. kills two of them or something, right? Even, even, uh, well, yes, but even after that, um, in the first and second round, you must move evil auto first after you roll. In the third round, you, you don't have to move evil auto. You can move robots only if you want to on your turn. So that at least I get. But if that's the tr if that's true, then you could just leave him on his spot, and then the humanoid can never exit. Then is what it sounds like. Um. I'm surprised they didn't allow for that. I mean, maybe I'm hearing it wrong, but that's just kind of what I'm getting from no, that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this now. Um, and uh, yeah, when the humanoid zaps in, in the third round, when the humanoid zaps two of your robots, you can start moving evil auto if you want to, but the choice is yours. Just roll the die and move either evil auto or one robot. Or more. You only have to move one piece of your choice on each turn. <clears throat> oh. Okay, hold on. I think I might have misread something. Because the last thing here says you cannot be the humanoid player in the third round if you already lost your three chips. The three chips carry over between rounds. Uh huh. So. Okay. The game continues until either three rounds have been played or both your humanoid and the opponent's humanoids have been zapped three times and destroyed. So, uh, let's see here. So 
So it must be a chip per round then. I think I'm kind of putting this together. Okay. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. When you are the evil auto, stop your opponent from scoring points. Okay. I think I I think I understand now. So what you're doing is uh the humanoid the only way to get to the next level without uh you know losing all your lives is to get to that evil auto space. Mhm. Mm um the so if you make it, then you move on to the quote unquote second stage or next round, right? Okay. Or you know, you switch sides, but you get to go on to the next round. Um, if you don't make it, then you're out for the rest of the game. So this may go three rounds, but if we both suck at it then it'll be done in one round. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically what you're saying is you get those three chips to last you as possible. Exactly. Up to three rounds. Up to three rounds. But you only change around once the humanoid gets onto auto space. Right. Gotcha. And since or it doesn't if all three round. chips are gone. So since it doesn't go past the third round, that's why auto can stay put on the third round. Yeah, I, I, that's that's what I'm thinking there. So okay, pick which dice, pick which die you want to use for your roll. Red. Red. Okay. So higher number gets to be the humanoid first, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you get to be the humanoid first. Oh boy, I was hoping to be auto, but let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so if I remember correctly, the humanoid gets to move first. Can't shoot through walls. Can backtrack. Yep. Can't move diagonally. Cannot move diagonally. Um, those two robots in the middle, can you just lift them up for a second so I can see how those walls are constructed? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Would you prefer that I put them like this? Um, Doesn't really look like it helps all that much. It's fine the way it was. I just wanted okay. to see if, there were, if those walls were identical on both sides, but they're actually sure. like mirrored, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. In a certain way. Okay, so I'll roll for you here. Oops. Five. All right, so my objective is to kill all robots yep. and eventually get to auto space. Yep. All right. Auto I... can't move until two robots have been taken out. Okay. But you can move the robots after I make my moves here. Yep. All right, well, let's uh, let's move up three over one, and well, up two. Oh, oh, there's right. a wall there. Yeah. Up two over to the left. One up one, and uh, back down one. You can't backtrack. Oh, I thought he could backtrack. No. Oh, okay then. Uh. Right one. Okay. Four. Okay. So I'm starting from here. One, right. two. Zap. So I did. So now it's your turn, huh? 
Uh, let me just double check one thing really quick here. Didn't you have to move auto first? No, because I can't move evil auto until the uh, two robots have been zapped. Oh, okay. My bad. This is how it goes when you first play a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's that's why I like recording these, because we're learning, and that helps other people learn. Okay, so... So I, I, ha I, I can split up my move between two robots. That was kind of what I was figuring out, as if I needed to be exact. So I'm just going to move this guy one for the fourth move. Okay, so, so now does the guy respawn back at the middle section again or does he stay put um let me take a look here yep so you just go back there okay all right so your turn again one rough <laughs> uh, there's really no safe spot for my guy um I guess just move right one. I'll probably pay for that, but. <laughs> well, yeah, but like you said, you didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> one. Well, that lucked you out. Yeah, <laughs> you and your loaded dice. Um. Hey, I'm ro I'm rolling the same die. Well, I mean, <laughs> there technically you go. not. <laughs> um. I'll uh, move him here. Need to be. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, your turn again. Three. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So that won't help me. Um, up one, right one, down one. Like that? Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> Another one. Um, I'm going to move him right there. Okay. Five. All right, let's see here. Let's do some math. Okay, so up two. Up two. Right one. Zap. Yep. <laughs> and uh, I can still go up two more, right? Yep, and that'll zap right. this guy. Yeah, we'll zap him. All right. Now I must move evil auto on my turn. I have angered the auto. Yep. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, zap. Man, the humanoid is at such a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> a bit, but I mean... This game is tough as balls in the arcade, too. Uh, you know, I played that entire game with my sister and brother-in-law, uh, Tetris Link, and uh, I can't, I, I'm still forgetting that I'm not supposed to wait for someone else to roll the die. Yeah. All right, you get four. Well, I'm pretty much setting myself up to lose my third life, but I want to get, I want to kill another robot. So we're going to go up two, left two. One, two. Oh, hold on, hold on. Up two, left one, down one. Like that? Yeah, so I get the zap okay. in. And so I you're get getting the zap in, yep. Yeah. I'll uh, keep these visible. There we go. Okay. Oof, done. <laughs> well, not necessarily, because I can't shift my direction. What do you mean? I I can't go like one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to go in one direction and commit to that direction. 
Right, but you only you don't have to move him all five space or six spaces. Or how don't, did you roll six? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Zap. Yeah, that's why I said I was done. Okay. <laughs> so you got thirty points. I guess it's not bad for a first try. <laughs> Killed half the robots. Set back up again. And I am down with giving this another try um, after my run, too, if uh, if you're up for that. Because this seems like it might go quickly if, uh, <laughs> if it's as unbalanced as it appears. <laughs> All right. So now it's my turn to be the humanoid. I'll go first. Six. Okay. Um... One, two, three, four, zap, five, six. Man, it works out real well when you get a high dice roll in the beginning. <laughs> you had a four when you started out. You could have zapped this guy and stayed in the corner last round. Really? I had a four? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that what I thought you were going to do, so I'm kind of glad I got to try that out myself. Maybe, maybe I was playing some mind games there. I don't know. Oh, now you got a six. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to move that guy on the right down to and get a zap. Okay. But that brings you back to there. Yep. And then I still have four more left, so one, two, three. But I can't hit you while you're on that spot. Exactly. Darn it. I was hoping for a double banger there. <laughs> nope, nope. If you, I, and that's probably why they did that, too. So, I mean, if you went one, two, three, four, you wouldn't zap me, but I'd take you out on your next run. Exactly. Um, like, before I even move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to move him, that same robot, over one to the right and up one. Like that? Yep, so that's four. Oh, that's and one, th two, three, four, yep. And then the one on the lower left, we're going to move up to. One, two? Yep. Okay. One. Yay. Man, I should have went a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> one. Your turn. Four. Okay. Um, let's move the one on the right over three. One, two, three. And the one on the lower left up one. Like right here? Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Five. One, two, three, four, zap, five. Okay kind of expected that <laughs> i was hoping i'd get a better roll than a one that time all right four now you have to move evil out of once uh yes okay uh diagonally lower right this way yeah just the one just one okay yeah um actually move him down one and over two auto um he can only move in a straight line oh, oh right 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 during his turn yep forgot about that part all right uh inside more robot on the left in the middle uh move him right one down one and Got one more space to move. Just move the one uh, all the way on the left down one. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whoops. No. Let's not cheat blatantly here. <laughs> Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, zap. Five. Well played. I was hoping for a six. 
You were going to try and get two. gotten two of them. Two. Damn. <clears throat> uh, move the guy on the left on the bottom up to. You have to move even oh, auto first. That's right. Left one on auto and up one on the. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, zap. Um, five. Because I was on a direct line with Evil Auto. <laughs> okay. Down one on Auto. Got it. Uh, on the right side one, down and left two. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Oops. Four. Um, you know what? One, two, three, four, zap. Was that four? Okay. Yep. All right. Five. All right, take auto and take them out. All right. And that uh, leaves you with one more space to move. Uh, one left on the uh, robot dude. Here you go. Okay. Get some wall protection there for a second. <laughs> yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Six. Whoops. Yeah. Did Got you move six. the other uh, chip for the second time I zapped you? Oh, no, I did not. There you go. All right, so I got a six. Yep. All right, let me just analyze this real quick. <laughs> Basically, what's saving me right now is that you have to move Evil Auto first. Yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> Because I first looked at the diagonal and I was like, damn, he's just that one spot. And I know he paid attention to that. Not uh, only that, but you're exactly six away from from zapping me with that robot. Yeah, I just did that count too. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, let's go four to the right with auto. One, two, three, four right there. And two up with the robot. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Uh, one right. Oh. Two right with auto. All right. One, two, three, four, five, zap. <laughs> well, that's game, right? Or that's round, isn't it? Nope. I have to make it to the evil auto spot. Oh, uh, okay. Start taking a gamble here. Yep. But you're still going to get 120 points for that round. Yep. My only saving grace is if you get a one. <laughs> ah, get him <laughs> zap okay so yeah um yeah i definitely won there mm -hmm. 120 to 30 but uh yeah let's try that again now that we've got a little bit of an idea of how things work all right Give it unless you'd like to move on to a different game we can do it again. Uh, I think you'd be all right if you want to stand the robots up this time, because, I mean, I think we kind of get the idea of who's where. Okay. It's kind of pretty easy to discern from the, the, the screen, just so that way it's easier to measure the spots out. Sure. Well, okay. for me, at least watch, looking at it on a computer screen. Well, I should have asked which one you want first. Oh, I just assumed I was right again. Okay. All right, so you get to be the human first. Set up our lives here.
Okay. Whoops. Five. Okay, so uh, let's go to the right and take out the one robot. And I still got to move one more, right? Yep. Yeah, so and I'm you might... can't backtrack, so that's the only way you could move. Yeah. One, two. Six. <laughs> mm. um, backtrack to the humanoid spot and go up uh, one. Okay. Four. One, two, three, four. Another six. All right, let's uh, move over to the left and take out that robot by One, two, three, four, five. Um, I was actually hoping to be on the um, adjacent to that wall up there, not to the left. Oh, okay. Five. So that's five spots, right? And I still have to yep. do one more? Yep. Okay. Um, let's go left one. All I guess right. it doesn't really matter. Sorry, I, that was splitting ears. I just, I saw it in my head differently. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. I totally get how that works. Okay. Four. One, two, zap, four. Yeah, I should have saw that coming. It's like jumping out of jumping into a pit for an extra life. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot. You had to move auto. I had to move auto first. I still zap you, but I'm gonna move there. So that would have been one, two, three, four. Okay. Still zapped you. Okay. One. I would have totally let that slide too. <laughs> uh up one. Okay. <laughs> Kinda of makes a choice for you there. There you go. Now you got a six. Alright, so let's see if I go up one, two, three, four, five. Alright, let's take out that robot that just sat me. Okay. And that should be a total of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. I'll tell you, that auto guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. One. I got to pay attention to him, though. I know what you're trying there. <laughs> he can go through walls. You get a five. All right. So let's see here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Let's bring him just to the right five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and I'm sure you're going to roll something. Wait, was that? Yeah, yeah, that was right. Okay. Okay. Three. One, two, zap, three. Yeah, so I or, knew well, that. Well, wait. I have to move Otto first. <laughs> move him here, but I still would have gotten you in two spaces, so... There we go. Where, where was he? Where was the robot again? He was right here. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, or or right here. So it was either way. The third space moved me into where you were. The second gotcha. space is what actually got me the zap. Makes sense. So, okay, your turn. Six. All right, so we're going to zap that robot. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Zap. And then uh, right two. There you go. Ah, six. Uh, 
Uh, it looks like he can take me out. Yep. One, two, three, four, zap. And that's it. Yeah, because you would have been able to move auto at least two spaces. Yeah, I did that again, didn't I? Oh, well, <laughs> more points than last time. There you go. You're improving. All right. Now it's my turn to be a humanoid. Hey. <laughs> one. <Good old> one. <laughs> Solid <Good> one there. <laughs> Six. Oh my god. All right. So let's take Mr. Right lower right there and go in for the zap. Which way? Uh um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Or one, two, three. Bring him up one and then bring him over to the left. Or five zap. And then you've got one more. One more to the left. Okay. Um, that's pretty much a sacrifice play. <laughs> well, yes. Don't forget to take your life point away. Oh, yes. One, two, zap. Three, four, five, six, zap. Yeah. You still forgot to take a chip away. I'm watching that. <laughs> Thank there you. There you go. <laughs> All right. Your turn, four. And now you have to move Yuvalado first, because I kept forgetting to do that. Yep. Uh, down two for okay. him. Up two for the middle left. Like that? Yep. OK. Five. Okay, that wouldn't be good. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Not the best place for me to be, but three. Okay. Um, I gotta move auto once, so he can move through walls, right? He can move through walls. That's the only part he can't move through. Okay, so I want to move him down uh, one, at least. And he has to go the same direction, so I can't really move him again. Right. So middle right, can he go left and up? All right. Fortify some defenses here. Uh, um, one, two. I can't really think of a better move right now. Mm. Two. All right. We're going to make auto go to the right one. And Robot is going to go uh, down one. All right. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, yeah, I cannot zap. Because if I zap, that's going to put me right in the Evil Auto's clutches. But you know what? That would also give me points, and I've got a life to spare. You gonna sacrifice that Yoshi? <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Nothing like sacrificing a Yoshi. Yep. And I just gotta hope you don't get anything more than a one, and I'm, I'll be fine. Four. Hey. Uh, well, clearly I move auto and give you a little zap there. Yep. Do you want to keep moving in that direction or? No, we're going to leave him put. Okay. All right. And you've got uh, three more to move. So let's move uh, the robot on the upper left down to. Right there? Yep. And the robot on the upper right down one. Got it. 
three. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, you're in a fantastic position to screw me over from going over toward those two bots. Because yeah. any three I take <laughs> puts me on a direct diagonal line. Yeah, but I also got to get a high enough roll to pull it off. Yeah. And I don't think the dice have been being that kind tonight. Yeah, well, I can't make that assumption. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Six. The only thing that's saving me right now is you got to move out over. Well, now, am I allowed to move auto past the the, the cross lines? Yes. Okay, so one, two, three. So I can um, just I can just move him straight all the way down then and get you another zap, can't I? Oh yeah. Hold on for a second. Let me just double check that. Uh, um, barrier thing. Um. <clears throat> yeah. The only thing the barrier does is after you've zapped five robots, you can't move back this way. Gotcha. <clears throat> so, yep. One, two, three, four, five. Zap. You yeah. win. Well, I mean, that round, but overall in points, you won. No, because you had 40 points and I only had 30. Right. But the previous game, the you previous had. The previous game, yeah, I kicked your ass. But oh, this yeah. is a different game. Well, <laughs> same game, different round. I'm like, all right, well, yeah. totality, you won. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not a round one, round two thing because we both died. Well, yeah, I get that. I'm just yeah. saying, if you add both games together, you are the clear victor on it. So. <laughs> <I'm> berserk. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's set up another game here. Um, you know, three levels worth of gameplay. When I it was that tough to even win one. I think that's uh, kind of wild. How it was kind of a checkmate at the end there, like. No matter where you move three spaces, I kind of could get you with him. It's cyber gas. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like. I only saw like maybe two ways, but like I'm just started doing the math while you were cleaning up, and I'm like, man, he went there. I could have got him on six. I could have got him on six. I'm like, oh, jeez. Yeah. All comes down to that die roll. Sorry, dude. I got to take out your arms. Yeah, he clearly wasn't using them that well anyway. <laughs> Considering how low we scored on this game, yeah. Right. Round two. <laughs> Should say in the instructions, well, if you're ever lucky enough to make it to a round two. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll do this. <laughs> <laughs>